And hey guys, and welcome back again. So we're back to where we were again, choosing a new character. Uh, so far, I've got to apologize for the fact that we haven't been able to do much with our last three characters. Either it's been very short or there's much we can do. Um, yeah, it's been quite weird. Like, actually, we just, we've just been really unlucky, I think. There's not much we could have done with all three. We were murdered in two of them. And in this one, we just died of an illness very, at a very young age. So that was very weird. But, you know, this Let's Play is more to do our own history of Westeros. And in that regard, I think we've done quite well. We've seen some really interesting things happening as the King Beyond the Wall growing. Let's have a look at the north here. Yeah, this place up here, Halash Sharid, is still all together. So things have been kind of interesting. So let's see who will be this time. Okay, let's have a look. And click. And we're back to Westeros. And actually, this is a good one. We're Selmy. Lord Philip of Harvest Hall. I like this one because a lot of people have asked me to be a Selmy. And Selmy are usually pretty high on the list of when people ask me to be someone. So I'm really happy we actually we've got Selmy. And we've come to the Stormlands. Uh, the land of the brother of the king. So this could be good. And he looks kind of young. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully he's an interesting person. Let's have a look here then. So who are we? We are Lord Philip of Harvest Hall. Sell me. We have Lord Har we have Harvest Hall here. We have two claims. Uh, one on Farwell, very far away. And one on Parchments. Okay, not too far away. Okay. So we are slothful. Kind of a slow guy. Uh, we're humble. We're just. But we're ruthless. So we're just and humble. That, that's an interesting mix. So he's kind of a, a just humble guy he doesn't think he's amazing which is good because he's not <laughs> but he is ruthless when he wants something he gets it he takes it but he's slothful he doesn't want to do the work himself and sadly like i say we've got really bad stats uh oh, we have a sister here half sister my father donald Selmy. okay his father he had lots of uh so he was the last lord of harvest hall Lots of children. He had no children. Wow, okay. There's not many Selmys, it looks like. Only 10 living members. Okay. Not looking so good there. But yes, so that's who we are. We are Philip. Uh, our Lord is Lord Robert Karen. So the High Lord is Karen. Uh, he's not particularly the most interesting. He's deceitful, lustful, patient, and charitable. Oh, okay, he seems like a nice guy. He gives us money, but he's a bit deceitful, but he likes lust. You know, he's going to go and sneak away with a lover. Yes, of course he has a lover. What a surprise. I should probably check my relations. We have a friend, uh, Septon Angron of Harvest Hall. Oh, he's my friend. Isn't that nice? Master of the hunt. Okay, and then our Lord Paramount is Lord Paramount Latari's the strong stag. He's lustful, slothful, brave, uh, temperate, deceitful, shy, charitable, patient, humble, fashionable, a duelist, a knight, a skilled fighter, child of concubine. He's strong. Look at that marshal, 23. This is an interesting guy. His son, Lord Tristan of the Stormlands, also strong. Okay. So we're in an interesting place. Let's check our council. Okay. No one's better than you. Wow. Okay. It's a Barristan. <gasps> Barristan Selmy? <gasps> it's Barristan Selmy. N not the one we all know and love, though. Sadly. Otherwise, he'd be a much better fighter and I'd be much happier. Okay. Yeah, so most of these are not particularly that good. Uh, let's look at our military then. We have 2,300 men, about 2,400, I guess. The man, Duchy. Buy a knighthood. Show dragons, show Valerian steel swords. Okay, and factions, Liege Lawless. So we're in the Liege Lawless faction. I agree, he seems like a good guy. We trust the Karens. The Selmies are good to their lords. That's what we are. Because we're just. But we want parchments. I declare war. No. Must be our liege. Okay, so we can't attack Penrose for parchments. Let's wait and see, though. But my unmarried heir. So we need to get you married. Where are you? 
The long lances. Why are you over there? Why are you with the long lances? Perfect. Come to court, you silly Billy. You silly Billy. So they won't work war with the Veil. Vale. Uh, they want Crab Shaw back. Lord Parent Orin. And ba basically against everyone. It's not going to be a very long fight. Uh, so I need to get my important characters. So we've got you. Uh, we've got Karen. We've got the Lorch. Perfect. Uh, his heir is Tiger Lorch. Yep, that's fine. Uh, Arian. And I think that's it. Yeah, the voices are kind of screwed. <laughs> so we'll keep it that. The Riverlands, what? When did the Riverlands become independent? So somehow the Riverlands became independent. We now have the Trident. She's now Queen Hastella of the Trident. Her husband is a Seret. And their son is a Sarfield. What? <laughs> How did this happen? So her old husband. So they've been king for a while then. 8055. Wow, so I did not see that. How come I did not notice that? So we've got the Riverlands, our kings. A Seret. Uh, sorry, a Sarsfield is set to inherit it as well, a Westerman. Interesting. And the North is having some trouble. The Dreadfort as normal is causing a bit of a hassle. Ah. Lord Paramount Theo, the Wild Wolf, has got the North. And the heir is Lord Harwood. So what is this war about then? He's attacking the Vale. Okay. So these places are just not under him. Because Carhold's not a war. So Carhold's somewhat independent. Okay, that's what we've had some problems with some wars. It looks like some Jajur wars or whatever are having some problems with putting people in their place. This is kind of annoying that will happen. That That's just a bug. Um, that stuff does happen sometimes. Finally. Perfect. Okay, let's get you a proper marriage and just in case I die. Uh, wow, he's... I guess he's the bastard son to the Septon. Okay, we can marry a Fowler. Uh, Ronyor, uh, Riswell, a Northman. Uh, a Frey, a Riverman. Dustin Northman, Stormlander. Let's look around people around us. This can give us an ally as well. So let's have a look at your High Lordship. So we could marry this one. Uh, Peasbury. Then again, it's a matrilineal marriage. We've probably just got to take what we can get, don't we? And, oh, Errol. So no Dondorians. That's a shame. That is a shame. Yeah, we'll probably have to take what we can get. We probably can't be picky when we've got matrilineal. So Riswell Frey. Uh, Dustin. Hmm. Lady Dustin. Uh, Riswell. Uh, Macy. Uh, Highstack. Wells. Bracken. Hmm, Bracken. Uh, Bolton. Darklin. Uh, Rowan. Ooh, Rowan. Nah, not Rowan. Oh, that means that Rowan boy in the Riverlands died. That's a shame. Uh, Crackcore. Heir to the High Lordship of the Seastone Chair. How is that possible? You're a Crackcore. Ha. Huh. Seastone Chair. This is this one, isn't it? What? <laughs> How does that work? His wife is 50. It's not going to be more kids. That's actually a good opportunity. That probably will work. Victorian. Horror. Horror. A lot of people tell me different things. Uh, Hore. Horror. Ho I'm not even I'm not even sure. But yeah. So he might. Ooh, that could be good then. Let's go back then. Okay. Anyone else got any chance to inherit? Riswell's. Nope. Nope. Oh, heir to the High Lord of a Crack Call. That's even more confusing. This guy's the heir to Crack Call. Ah, you guys are weird. Heir to the High Lord of Harren Hall. I, I forgot about you. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. It's going to have to be him, yeah. Perfect. Why is this? Why were you married? Why are you dumb? Ah, because, okay. Good marriage. My and my sister. Perfect. So we could be set to inherit Harrenhal for the Selmies. That'd be really fun, actually, seeing Selmies own Harrenhal. I kind of like that idea. There we go, and the marriage is done. 
They just need a baby. And so do I. I just need a baby. Toyn. Host a wedding feast. Do you know what? We're not going to bother. We have time. We don't have the money all the time. I should probably get my council to do stuff. Now that we know our position, we kind of know what we're doing. Improved defenses, uh, oversee province, I guess. Um, improved reservations, fabric claim, so dissent. Do you like us? No, you do not like us. We want him to like us. We kind of think he's a good lord, the Karens. Okay, you probably shouldn't do anything. Actually, you can, yeah. Actually, it's actually good to let you do that, even though. Let's have a look here. Special teeth collected. Peasants attack them. That's likely to happen. Um, let's not send you then. Yeah, we'll leave you. And how about you, scheme? I'm not going to get killed again. We've already been killed a few times. We've already been killed a few times. Don't want it to happen again. The Mandaford, the Tyrells. Ah, he already likes us a little bit. Very good job. Already they're doing their job. Yep, so we've got the Reach and the Vale both wanting some pieces of land, which they, they say is rightfully theirs. The King Arion. Ooh. Okay, has ended. King Arion the Iron Throne won. So Arion won. Okay. Iron Throne lost. Oh, so the Reach actually won that war. Interesting, they got Dalston Keep. Interesting. So the Reach have shown they're not no pushovers. Good going, Loafer. Good, I'm sorry, good going, Lorch. Good going, Lorch. I to pursue a career. The Citadel. Who are you, my kinsman? You're the son to Barristan. He's another son as well. I guess that's okay. You're weak. Um, we'll give you leave. There's no reason for us to say no. So we now have a Selmy, a Selmy who's gone to the Citadel. Have fun. I need a new Castellian. Uh, I guess Armand. Nope. Were you good at anything? Eleven. Nope, not really. Okay. Hold a grand tawny. Yeah, so that has shown that the launches are no pushovers. My wife is pregnant. Thank you, wife. Uh, the torn. Perfect. Actually, what allies do I have? We have an ally with Toyn, Lord of Summerhall. Okay. So an ally in Summer Hall, that's a good one. And an ally with the uh, Harren Hall. So some good marriages here for us. So we go, Arian, he's getting old now. Not going to have any more kids, it doesn't look like. But we still have Prince Aina. And he's had a son as well, so that means the line is kind of secure. Courtney Selmy is now of legal age. Uh, my daughter's responding well. Oh, your uncle is responding well. Sorry. Sorry, my uncle is responding well. So things are going well for the realm so far. Hopefully, if the others do attack, we won't be in a bad position. Uh, jesters, minstrels, acrobats, and dancers all have gathered to perform at the festival. Inviting noises, tempting scents, and alluring sights. Try to lure people to various stands, performers, and tents. Ah. Okay, so we'll look. Humble, just ruthless. Nobody told me. Dancers are actually pretty good. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm humble. So they're actually pretty good. And I forgot to uh, do Pongor. There you go. Let's make you an important character. Then we can know what these guys are doing. Dejane. So I kind of liked what we were doing over here. We've got Pharos basically in our pocket. Though she's not had a kid. She's only 19 now, I guess. It feels like that was ages ago. <laughs> A young artist working on divine icon of the warrior. I pray for courage. I don't think the king is going to let the trident be its own place for long. It doesn't seem like the sort of thing he would do. And we have a daughter. Ellen Selmy, but she's sickly. Queen Hastella and King Lucian. Daughter was born perfect. They've secured... Our line for Harrenhal. We just need to wait for her to die. Oh my god. The king died. Wow. We are not doing so well with kings. None of them been able to last too long. We had a, obviously, Aegon's son did an okay at making it peaceful, but he died too soon. 
Okay. So we just need to wait for her to die. She's 50, so hopefully she dies soon. And then everything will be secure for us. <laughs> so King Arian has died. My lord, his grace, King Arian has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now is there Prince Aena Baratheon who will take the throne and will rule the seven kingdoms henceforth. Long live the king. And there you go, his interesting crown. King Aena. He's ambitious, chaste, zealous, greedy, deceitful, and just. Okay, he's an interesting guy. He's that kind of guy who could be good. He probably would be a good king, but he might be seen as bad because of his uh, you know, zealousness, his greediness, and deceitfulness. But maybe he's just actually a nice king. And his heir, Prince Magon, who's too young. But he's only 23, is Aenor, so he should be king for a long time. All hail his grace, Aenor of the House Baratheon, King of the Andals, and the Rona, and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. Long live the king. Jane the Exile, okay. Oh, and we have war. Here you go. He's decided to do what his father never did. King Aegon of the Iron Throne has declared Westerosi Riverlander to drill war over the Trident. The queen is in danger. So not surprising, I did kind of expect this to happen, but I'm glad this is the first thing he's doing. He wants to cement his rulership by taking back what's rightfully his. So let's see. Everyone is joining this war. Everyone seems to want to join the war. Take back the Riverlands. There's no way the Riverlands can defend. Why is she even bothering to fight? Why does she even try? So at the moment, there doesn't seem to be many dragons. We don't hear much about dragons at the moment. Dragon riders are only two. There's Benero, Master of Vega, in Demon Pass, so in Valeria. And there's one for Sunglass. He's the only dragon in Westeros. And we still have lots of wild dragons. One in Runestone, one in the Pirate Coves of Wreckstone, one in Dragonstone, and two in Asai. Okay. And the guy in Dragonstone now... Oh no, Balerion, yes. Located in Dragonstone. So Balerion has a dragon egg. Okay. 